Breakups are never simple, but neither are love affairs. They are messy, chaotic, passionate, raw, fun, sad, beautiful, and oftentimes don't end nearly as well as they started. But this, this is not one of those times. You see, what started off as a whirlwind romance soon blossomed into a full-blown affair. And even once the honeymoon phase was over, and the reality of paying a small fortune in rent each month started to bite. My reservations always disappeared each time I stepped outside and strolled down your streets. I never got bored of you. In fact, my love only grew stronger as I discovered new sides to your character, each one more charming than the last. And where others see flaws, I see only beauty. Where others see beauty, I see something far deeper. I see your soul. I understand what, or rather who, makes you tick. And tick you do with a rhythm so steady. Nothing or no one could or should stand in your way. Which is why I'm taking my leave. I haven't outgrown you, nor will I forget you, because Beijing, Truly, it's me, and most certainly not you. How are you feeling now? Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling pretty upset about the situation. We've lived here for so long, it's been such an important part of our lives. So as this chapter closes, it's a little bittersweet. Yeah, I think that's the thing, the harder you feel or like the, the stronger the feelings, the, the deeper the relationship, you're always going to feel that breakup just that little bit harder, aren't you? Yeah, why do you think we stayed here for so long? Um, I, well, I guess originally we came here because like of the work and the media opportunities. This is kind of like the media capital of China. So if you want to make videos, this is the place to come. But I don't think that's why we stayed really, is it? No, I think we stayed because we fell in love with the city. And I think that, that intro definitely showed that as well. But you know, we are on to another adventure and hopefully it will be just as exciting. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow along and see what we get up to next. Yeah, it's going to be a banger. So speaking about this intro, we kind of came up with a creative idea. Obviously, you know, it's our last few weeks here in Beijing. 
and we wanted to do something just a little bit special, didn't we? Yeah, I think I wrote this script at like three in the morning when we were staying in a hotel, when we were visiting our new city. Yeah. And I was just thinking about how much I was missing Beijing at the time. And it just kind of this spark of creativity came and I wrote the voiceovers. And then you did an amazing job of planning out like where we were going to shoot the different shots yeah. and like get everything done. However, yeah. it didn't all go to plan, did it? No. Why? Um, it did take quite a lot of time to figure out the locations and things and then also to go to every single location and when we planned it the weather was not always on our side was it? We wanted a beautiful day like today. We might be sat out in the rain in the cold but these noodles they are worth it. So to be honest I'm actually shocked that we're finishing this video with such a beautiful sunset because we tried so hard last week to get lots of sunsets to put <laughs> Yeah, we went out every evening to get sunset and every evening, even if it was sunny in the morning, it just got cloudy. Plus, throw in the fact that it is kind of a pandemic here in Beijing again right now, yeah. where there's been a lot of cases flaring up, so a lot of the public sites are closed. Ooh. So we've had to make the best of the situation, yeah. but I'm still pretty pleased with how it turned out. Yeah. How do you feel about it? I think it's been really nice. I really love it. Obviously, Jack does a great job of editing. And like for me, it's just been so nice to kind of revisit some of these locations and like explore Beijing and just, you know, it just makes me feel like, oh, we've done loads in these last few weeks that we've been here. Yeah, it's been a great excuse to go like explore a load of our old haunts and see a lot of things probably for the last time. So we spoke a little bit there about how we planned this video, but Jack, how did we shoot it? Well, we were pretty fortunate actually, because living in Beijing, not only do we have an amazing choice of locations, but we actually also have a pretty good choice of equipment that we can use. Yeah. Because, we, you, know, you know, we're a big fan of using gimbals, right? Yeah, we love, a, love, a, love, love a gimbal shot, don't we, Jack? We absolutely do. And it just so turns out that all of the best gimbal brands are all based in China. Yeah. Now, we've been using a brand called Juyun for years. Yeah. Literally, my first ever gimbal was the uh, Juyun Crane Plus. You have a Juyun for your... Um, like, for my ZV-1, yeah, I've got the your... M2. Yeah, which is awesome. That's been amazing and really so helped. So good. It's such a small gimbal as well. If you've got the ZV-1, it's perfect for that. I can fit it in my handbag and it's light enough for me. Yeah, so I will use something a little bit bigger for this project, but still something very compact. So Julian were kind enough to send us the Weeble 2. Yeah. Um, and oh my God, I had so much fun shooting with this gimbal. Like, it was amazing. How did you find it compared to your to the other one that you have? This new one has like so many different ways that you can hold it, like different attachments. So you can add like different handles. This is really good for getting some of the low shots. Yeah. Or like if you want to get close to a puddle, like for example, we did it in the train station mm -hmm. shots. It's also got like a little LCD screen, which has been pretty handy because before you had to use like an app. Now you can just like flip out the screen and then you could just quickly change settings. Wow, okay, I think that's enough gimbal talk. You could literally talk about gimbals for days. If you are interested in any of the gimbals, you wanna know any other information about it, then hit us up in the comments and I will get Jack to talk the tech talk because this video is not just about the gimbal. Yeah, maybe we should start a tech channel next, right? Because I could talk about gimbals all day. Yeah, we start, I'll calm down now. If we started a tech channel, then you just like wouldn't shut up. The videos would be like an hour long. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's bring it back to this video. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good idea before we get too carried away. Yeah, we really enjoyed doing a bit more of a cinematic style and it was really good to get those creative juices flowing and visiting some of our favourite places. Speaking of which, next week's video is all about our favourite places here in Beijing because honestly there is just so many. Huge. I've never ever seen this. So magical. I absolutely love it. I am going to really miss Beijing. Yeah, and I think it's important that before we go, yeah. we say... Beijing, it's definitely us and, and not, not you. you. Bye, guys. Bye.